What's up, every best? Oh my god, that was terrible. Ugh. What's up, everybody? We're gonna be doing a PCT gear. Ugh, I hate myself. <laughs> I never know how to do these introductions. What's up, everybody? We're gonna be doing a PCT full gear list today. If you don't know, myself and my hiking partner, Flossie, are gonna be hiking the PCT, the Pacific Crest Trail. We're gonna be attempting to hike, I should say, in 2022. We're leaving in May. And in this video, I'm going to go over every single almost piece of gear that I'm going to be bringing with me on the trail, dude. All this stuff right here. The last time I did a gear video, I like smacked my pack like this. And then someone made a meme out of it and posted it on Reddit. Here it is. Sorry, my Tinder is blowing up right now. I just want to say that all the gear in this video is going to be linked down below. Also, I have a lighter pack spreadsheet with all the gear as well. All the links, they are affiliate as f so I will make a little bit of money front. You guys know what an affiliate link is. Okay, like I said, this is pretty much every single item that I'm bringing. However, there are just a few things that aren't gonna be included in this video and maybe aren't included in the, uh, the lighter pack link. So I just wanna go over those real quick. The first thing is my tent footprint is not gonna be in this video. I have a polycro, I think that's how you say it, tent footprint. I just haven't cut it and weighed it and stuff yet. I also haven't bought my sunscreen or my chapstick yet. I'm not including any of my camera gear because I'm gonna be filming the hike. So if you're not subscribed, yet and you want to watch the hike you should definitely do that and then i also have not included my meth pipe okay let's get into the so we're actually not going to start with the gear here the first thing i'm going to go over is my clothing i'm actually wearing pretty much all of it right now first off my sun hoodie this is the rei sahara shade sun hoodie i've worn it a little bit it's got the old you know the thumb thingies it's rated to upf or is it ufp 50 you know what i'm talking about yeah it's got lots of sun protection i'm gonna need that because i'm gonna be hiking through the desert and i might die my sunglasses are just a random pair that my sister bought for me so thank you liza for the socks i'm gonna be rocking darn tough as i have for years as i did on the appalachian trail love darn tough let's go vermont that's where i'm filming this right now this place is it kind of sucks my hat it's the one i always wear i think i'm just gonna bring this one it's called v viori i don't think they make this anymore but it's dope <laughs> And then for my running shorts, pardon my giant bulge while I stand up here. Uh, it's just a pair of like New Balance Amazon running shorts. They got a little pocket so I can fit lots of meth in there. I've been using these shorts for a while. They're gonna wear out at some point on the trail and my nuts are probably gonna start hanging out. So at that point, I'll replace them. But until then, I'm gonna rock them. And then for my shoes, I'm gonna be rocking the Ultra Lone Peak 5s. I copped like four pair of these while they were on sale. I probably might need another pair if I make it all the way to the end. So I'll. I'll they're not, they don't make them anymore, so I'll figure out what I'm gonna wear then. But for the most of the trail, assuming I make it most of the way of the trail, I'm gonna be rocking these on the trail. All right, that's all the uh, that's all the clothing. Well, I've got more clothing in the pack, but that's what I'm gonna be wearing. So let's get into the gear. First off, the trekking poles. These are the Cascade Mountain Tech trekking poles. I talked about them a lot in my last video, so I'm not gonna do that. 468 grams is what those weigh. Now let's talk about my backpack. If you guys are already subscribed, then you know what I rock. It's the ULA CDT. By the way, guys, none of this gear that I'm talking about in this video, I'm like being paid to promote. Although if any of the brands in, that I talk about in this video wanna pay me posthumously, Hit me up. <laughs> no one's gonna do that. Okay, so my ULA CDT backpack, you guys know I've been rocking the CDT for years now. Frameless backpack, I love it to death, and it weighs 721 grams according to my scale. The only addition to this that I haven't ever talked about before is this uh, pocket right here. I decided to get a pocket for my cell phone. ULA actually hooked me up with this because I probably made them a ton of money on a video I did for free promoting this backpack like years ago. So thank you, ULA. You probably still owe me a lot of money, but your packs are awesome. Um, I'm gonna put my phone in here. It's got more space as well, so I could put like snacks, maybe my tripod, maybe like my meth and stuff like that inside of here. <laughs> the pocket weighs 45 grams according to my scale. Next up, let's just talk about this guy right here. I only have one of these at the moment, but obviously I'm gonna have two. This is a smart water bottle because I am smart as f this is the 1.5 liter version. I'm planning on carrying two of these. And of course, I got the Sawyer Squeeze for my filter. Been rocking this forever and I love them. Since we're talking about water as well, I also mentioned this in the last video, but I just have a two liter platypus water bladder here. That'll bring my total capacity to five liters, which I'm hoping is enough. If it's not, I can always grab another bottle or whatever I gotta do. Before we tear into the pack, let's just go over what's on the outside here. So this right here, I'm really proud of this. You can't even see it because of my damn lights, but I printed out the half mile PCT notes 
So it just has like the mile marker and the elevation and some notes about every little waypoint on the trail, every campsite, every water source, road crossing, some resupply information. It's all available for free. So thank you so much to Half Mile. It's just like a PDF. And what I did was I went to Staples and instead of just printing out like pages of it, I turned it into a little booklet. I got three of these, you know, one third of the trail each. I'm gonna be using Gut Hook on my phone for my navigation primarily, but I wanted to have like a physical copy of the trail information as well. And then on the outside here, we got, oh yeah. This is the Gossamer Gear, the one tent. Also talked about it in the last video. It's dope. I think I haven't actually like even used it yet. And then down at the bottom here, we got the tent stakes for the tent. These weigh 67 grams. I think there's like six or eight in here. I'm honestly not sure. You can, you can use six stakes, but there's like some extra pullouts. You can get more stakes. I'm, I'm honestly not sure what I'm gonna do yet. I'll figure it out, okay? Fuck off. And then my spork. Yeah, it's Snow Peak Titanium Spork, same spork I've been using forever. This thing weighs 16 grams and it's purple, which is sick. Guess it's about time we open this sucker up. <laughs> food bag. This is not full of food. I just put some shit in it for the sake of the video, but this is a Hilltop Packs custom printed food bag. They sent me this a few years ago. It's super cringy. I'm honestly really embarrassed every time I take this out when I'm hiking in public, but it is a DCF bag. I've put like four and a half days worth of food in it before. That usually works. I might be pushing it a little bit if it's more than that, but you know, I'll get it done. Next we have my rain jacket. You guys know it. You love it. Or maybe you don't because it's kind of cheap, but it's uh, the Frog Togs Ultralight 2 rain jacket, dude. Super lightweight, super cheap. I've been rocking this forever, you guys know. All right, so now we're gonna really get into this sucker here. And by the way, I use trash compactor bags as my liner, but my hiking partner, Flossie, has an extra uh, Nyla Flu, <laughs> Nyla Flu, Foom, <laughs> Nyla Foom, pack liner. I think it's from Garage Grown Gear or something like that, which is not this. I think I'm going to try the Nilo Foom pack liner. Okay, the first thing we're going to pull out of the goodie bag here is my pot. This is an MSR Titan kettle. This thing weighs 122 grams. I've had it forever, literally since I was in high school. It's amazing, but it's so old that I'm pretty sure it's going to break at some point. And so when it does, I'm going to replace it with uh, these two uh, cast iron pans. Inside the pot, we got a couple of these uh, spice bottles. So I'm gonna put like olive oil and hot sauce in these, although they're gonna be in my food bag normally, but I just put them in here because I don't have any actual food. And then we got a little scoop cuppy thing. I don't think this is in the lighter pack either, but it probably weighs like a gram or two, I don't know. Also doubles as a measuring cup. This is one cup of water. So when I'm splurging on those mountain house meals, thanks to my Patreon supporters, I can use this to uh, measure the water so it doesn't come out watery as hell. And then how about my ditty bag? Everyone loves a good ditty bag. So this is my ditty bag. This is also a Hilltop Packs DCF bag. They sent this to me again a few years ago. It only weighs 11 grams and it can fit just about everything I need. So let's open this sucker up. <laughs> First thing is another bag. We got bags on bags on bags. This is my electronics bag. Again, it's from Hilltop Packs. Again, they sent me this a few years ago. This one only weighs six grams though. And inside we have the first thing is my power bank. This is the Nightcore NB 10,000. I've had this for like a year. I feel like I might need more power if I have like my camera and all this stuff, but I'm gonna start with this. And then if I need to buy either another one or just a 20,000 whatever milliamp, I don't know, shit, then I will do that. But this one is super light. It's one of the lightest ones on the market at 151 grams. Next inside here, we just got all my chargers and stuff, basically. I would also have some camera stuff in here, but again, we're not going over that. So I got two of these little USB-C, uh, you know, power block. You know what the hell those are. Um, a little converter to convert USB-C to USB. This guy converts USB-C to... I don't know, micro USB, I don't know what it is. I'll put it on the screen. And then we got two charging cables. Going back to the ditty bag here, we got my headlamp. You guys know it, you love it. It's the Nightcore NU25 headlamp. It is old and sweaty and disgusting. Don't get the white one, I've said this before. This thing weighs 54 grams and it's amazing. Next up, we just got like a makeshift med kit with like some duct tape and toothbrush. I cut the handle off, you know your boy cut the handle off this thing. Some Advil, some Band-Aids, some stuff like that. I don't even know what that weighs. Then we got my um, pillow, which is also wrapped in this Hilltop packs. It also doubles as a bear bag thing, but I don't know how that's gonna work on the PCT, but I, I mostly just use it as my pillow bag. It's also got Flossie's face on it. <laughs> this is my pillow. This is the Thermarest Airhead Light, and it weighs 69 grams. 69 grams! That's why I chose it. <laughs> 
And then the last few things in the ditty bag, we got my BRS stove for, I've talked about in a thousand videos, super light. We have a lighter, just a mini Bic. I'm probably gonna have two of these, but I only have one right now. And then I have a little wallet knife because like two years ago, probably longer, I posted a video where I said that I don't take a knife backpacking and the commenters absolutely sh on me like it was nobody's business. So now I take a little knife, still probably never gonna use it, but now we're gonna get into some of the packed clothing I have in here. First thing, I'm just pulling stuff out. Oh, we got my base layer top. This is the Patagonia Capaline. This one weighs 172 grams and I love it because it doesn't stink like nearly as bad as you would think it would. Next up we got, oh, we got two things. We'll start with this. This is also a Patagonia Capaline uh, bottom layer. We got the old darn tough socks. You guys know I, I carry two pairs of socks. That's what I've always done forever. I've had a lot of this gear for a long time, honestly. So some of you guys are probably familiar with a lot of this stuff. But next we got my down jackets. This is the Arc'teryx Cerium SL hoodie. I'm pretty sure they don't make these anymore, but they it weighs 234 grams, super light. I might replace this to be honest, cause I might want something a little bit more beefy cause it's not the warmest, but next we have my quilt. This is the hammock gear econ 30 degree quilt. I got this at the very start of my Appalachian Trail through hike back in 2018, and I really want to replace it. I've never washed it a single, I'm not even, I've never washed this thing once. It smells a little bit, but it's not too bad. I want to replace it so bad, but it's just held up so well over the years that I just like feel like it would be a waste of money. But if I were to replace it, I would get the same one because it's definitely the most affordable quilt like you're the best bang for your buck for your weight if you know what I mean. This one weighs 615 grams according to my scale and that does include the stuff sack. I love this quilt. I love it. I love it. I love it so much. The next piece of gear is my sleeping pad which actually functions as the somewhat of a backrest or frame for my frameless backpack here. It is the Thermarest NeoAir X-Lite regular size. I've had this one for a few years, so I'm almost positive that it's gonna pop at some point, but I'll deal with that. It's gonna suck. I'll, I'll deal with that when the time comes, but I do love this sleeping pad, super light as comfortable as an inflatable pad is gonna get, I feel like. And it does a pretty good job as like the makeshift frame for my frameless backpack. That's pretty much everything. However, there are a few other gear items that I'm not gonna be starting with that I might need at some point. First one is a bear canister. I might might need micro spikes depending on the season and how fast I hike. Um, I do have like some extra layers, like a sleeping bag liner, as well as a pair of pants. Cause you might notice I don't have any pants. I just have the tights and the shorts. Might regret that. Maybe I'll have my parents send me some pants early on. I don't know. And then maybe when it gets cold, I'll have like a pair of gloves and like a winter hat sent to me as well. That's pretty much everything. So I, I humbly ask you right now to please consider supporting the content on this channel by going to patreon.com slash Kyle hates hiking. I'm not asking for money to fund my hike. I'm asking for money to fund the content. There's a big difference. We're going to be posting videos while we're out there. So please consider supporting on Patreon. If the videos stop, you, you don't need to support. I'm not asking. I want to be so clear. I'm not asking for money for the hike because I hate it when people are like, Oh, like, support my hike and then they're not even making content. You're supporting the content, patreon.com slash Kyle hates hiking. I'm gonna drill that into your brain. A bunch of people have already signed up recently. So thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. It makes a huge difference on this channel. Like, trust me, like it actually makes a huge difference. And uh, pretty soon we're gonna be living full time on the trail. So it's gonna make even more difference then too. Patreon.com slash Kyle hates hiking. I love you all very much. I can't wait to get out there and crush the PCT unless I die in the desert in the first week, we'll see. Should have cleaned these before I used them in the video.